Your clients, they don't know how to brief you. They don't know what information you need in order to do your job because guess what? They've never done your job before. You are the expert, they are not. But you're too afraid to ask questions. You're too afraid that if you ask the wrong question, they're gonna think you're an idiot. And so you don't ask any questions at all. You take what they are telling you at face value. You think they've done their due diligence. You don't think it's your place to question the client. Guess what? That kind of thinking leads you nowhere. So Jason over here, who's manning the camera as we drive, asked me a question. He asked me, what would I tell 10 years ago me? So I'm 36 now, I guess, what, I was 26. I started the firm when I was 24. So what, I'm two years into my company. What would I tell me? And my answer to him was that I used to think I had to have all the answers. I used to think that I would sit down in a meeting, I would sit down with a client, they would ask me a question. I was terrified that they were gonna ask me a question I didn't have an answer to. But more than anything, I thought it was my job as the expert to have all the answers for them. They are bringing me in, I'm the expert. I, I can't let them know that I don't know something. And more than anything, what has happened is I've matured in my career with the type of work we do, the more exposure I've had, is that the smartest people, they don't have the answers. The smartest people ask the right questions. Getting to the root of a challenge, getting to the root of a problem and helping something through it isn't about throwing the answers at them or really quick answers and solutions. It's not about that really fast problem solving. It's about knowing what questions to ask to get eventually to the answers because the pursuit of the answers, the pursuit of going down the rabbit holes and asking certain questions sparks and unlocks new ideas and new things so that way where you arrive at isn't that shallow answer, that simple answer, that thing that's on the tip of your tongue. And we see this with a lot of creative agencies. When people are junior, when they're early into their career, you ask them to come up with an idea and they will say, well, Here's the first idea I had, and the first idea that they have is garbage. It's not that it's a bad idea, but it's the same idea that everyone comes up with. Everyone comes up with the same idea because it's the first idea that came to them. And so what you wanna do is you wanna burn the first idea and the second and the third. You wanna start getting through the really bad fifth and sixth and seventh idea. You wanna start getting to the gold, which is like the 10th or 15th or 20th idea. So you gotta push through the early stuff and then push through the bad stuff to get to the amazing deep things. That's the pursuit of something. That, that is the activity of trying to find something. And so circling around to the brief, when you sit down with a client and they tell you what it is that they want to do, in most cases, that's a first or second or third idea. That's not even a bad fifth or sixth, and it's certainly not a, the gold, the 15th or 20th. They are giving you that surface, shallow, first idea. They haven't done it enough. They don't do what you do. They don't have the answers. And so if you take that shallow first or second idea at face value, if you think they've done their homework, they've done their due diligence, you're gonna take it, run with it, and give them what they've asked for, you will deliver bad work. You will have this crazy production cycle. You will have scope creep. You will have all of these things happen because the project will get away from you because guess what? Halfway through, they're gonna realize it's a stupid idea. It's not the right thing. They didn't think it all the way through. How could they have? They've never done this. You cannot take a client's brief at face value. You can't be afraid to ask questions. I've been in meetings where I ask a question and someone jumps on me and they're like, why would you ask that question? They say it like, why would you ask that question? Of course we've already done this thinking. Ah, but they haven't. They're getting a little bit defensive. They're getting a little worried. They somehow think that I'm questioning their ability and I'm not. I wanna create a safe place where we can ask all kinds of questions. To me, the more questions you can ask and the more answers you can get to, the, the tighter the net is, the, the, the more complex the brief or document is. You can get to the point where you're asking way too much stuff that doesn't matter, but what's wrong with going in a full circle? I've had clients where we start here and then we ask a bunch of questions and we go way off path. And then at the end we're like, oh, looks like we're exactly where we started. And I say, amazing. Amazing, we have just validated this idea. 
There is nothing wrong with ending up where we started because we have just gone through the process of exploring all the different possibilities and we've eliminated them. So now our idea isn't just the first thing that came to us, it's actually the right solution. But you can only do that by being in a situation where you ask the client a lot of questions. You ask them what they're trying to accomplish and who they're trying to appeal to and what are, problems are they trying to solve. You ask them questions like what are we really selling here? What are the emotional or challenges that the clients have? What makes the product unique? Ask tons and tons and tons of questions. There are no wrong questions. Questions don't cost any money. Pursuing these answers don't cost any money. It's all conversation based. Ask lots of questions. We just came out of a meeting where we had a brief version one. They had internal conversations. They had brief version two. They had internal conversations. I came in, I asked them an hour and 15 minutes of questions that, had, that were not laid out in the brief at all. How is it that they could have written a brief, they had internal conversations, written a brief, had more conversations, written a second brief, had more conversations, they came to me and I still had an hour and 15 minutes worth of questions to ask them. Because they hadn't explored everything. They didn't know what questions to ask. They didn't know what information to give me. And so if I just took that brief that they spent a lot of time on, it was a very good brief, but if I just took that and ran with it, I wouldn't have had all the information I needed. And then guess what? Halfway through the project, things would have fallen apart. You have a responsibility to the client and to yourself to ask these questions. So that way you can actually solution out the proper solution for them. And 10 years ago, I was afraid to do this. I honestly worried that if I didn't have the answers, it would make me look stupid. If, if I asked the wrong question, it would make me look stupid. Someone would say, why are you asking that question? I still get that today, but now I'm like, here's why I'm asking this question. I've done this a lot. Uh, I've worked with you know over a thousand companies. I've been doing this for 12 years. Here's why I'm asking the question. Experience, confidence, pattern recognition, <laughs> that'll help you give the why you're asking this question. But for you, for today, just start taking responsibility for the brief. Start taking responsibility for asking the questions. Work it into part of your process. Because the more questions you ask, the stronger the questions are, the better they're positioned, the more answers you'll receive, and the better your work will be. Here's what I want you to do. The next time that you have the opportunity for a client to brief you, I want you to take control of it. I want you to think about asking these questions, and I want you to have a lot of fun doing it. It's the most fun part of my job. And then the last thing I want you to do is I want you to think big, I want you to be bold, and I want you to say yes. And cut. If growing and scaling your business by being better at sales and better at marketing, better at customer experience is important to you, be sure to check out this video right over here. And like always, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon, and get each video every day when it drops.